Hello everyone, I hope that you're all having a great day. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to some of the most relatable school memes. So, let's get to the video. Walking to school on a Monday. Walking home from school on a Friday. That is so true. But you know, I think what seems more accurate is that instead of feeling like a zombie, why do you feel more like a prisoner? Because really, walking into school on a Monday feels more like you are going to prison, but coming home from school on a Friday feels more like you are breaking out of jail. I mean, what I just said seems way more accurate. Why are you packing already? There's still 25 seconds left. Okay, yeah, that happens sometimes. When it's only a few seconds before the bell rings, you just want to quickly pack your stuff so that you can get out of class and go to the bus as quickly as possible. But then the teacher says, no, wait, 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 wait. there's still five seconds before you actually have to pack your stuff. So get back into your desks. What I, what, what I just said is true, all right? So yeah, two kinds of people when going back to school. Wait, I, I, oh, there's a kid back in, in that background. You know what? You can literally see here that, that the girl is like pretending to smile. She's like, okay, so if I just, you know, just stand quietly, maybe my parents won't know that, I'm gonna, that I have a plan to escape school. I mean, we're all planning how to escape school. Has a math test at school, accidentally packs TV remote instead of calculator. Now that is so relatable, or not exactly relatable, I mean that I, I, I haven't really done that mistake. I just leave my calculator in my bag. I never really take my calculator out of my bag. But yeah, teacher is taking attendance. Heart rate rapidly increases in anticipation of saying here. Yeah, like in some situations when the teacher says your name and you have to say present, or here, then like you just get shy and you don't really, you, you're just too shy to say present or here to the teacher. Like I don't know why, it's just how it is. Finishing homework, the day it's due. Go, go, go! Yeah, I just realized something. Did you guys know that the most extreme sport in the entire world is finishing your homework a minute before the teacher tells you to hand in your homework. What I'm saying is actually true, alright, so don't argue with me. Just me when I finally finish my homework at 3 a.m. Wow. That is. Okay, that is not exactly relatable, or that isn't. I don't know what, but that actually makes a lot of sense. Taking notes in the 21st century. That is so relatable. Like, w when you're in class, you, you don't really write the, the stuff down. You, you just take your phone and you're like, okay, tsh, okay, there, I've taken a picture. Now I can study at home. I mean, you guys can agree with me. That, that is literally how you take notes in the 21st century. Did I really just call my teacher mom? Yeah, I mean, I've met a friend who's accidentally called our teacher mom. Like, I I don't know how it happens. Like, sometimes this is something in your brain that just confuses you and you don't really know what to say. But then the moment when you say the wrong thing is when you realize when you actually are supposed to say the right thing. You know what I mean. I'm going to finish all my homework. One minute later, homework can wait. That is so accurate. But sometimes, when I have to do my homework, okay, let's say I come home from school at 2 p.m. I'm, I'm just picking a random time and let's say I'm going to finish my homework at, or start my homework at 3 p.m. Then sometimes when it's a few minutes past 3 a.m. I'm just I'm like, okay, you know what, I can do it at 4 p.m. Or I, I, we're all procrastinators. When the teacher asks who is presenting next, that is so relatable. 
especially when you're doing a project or I think this meme is supposed to be about a project but like when you when you're supposed to make a project or whatever for school then you you just feel like oh man man my project isn't really that good I oh, really hope the teacher doesn't pick me next when the teacher says highlight only the important parts oh so the teacher wants us to highlight everything because apparently every single part every single word in um i was about to say a dictionary every single word in our handbook is actually important i'm i'm not joking it is actually important so we're supposed to highlight everything you get to go back to school you get to go back to school and you get to go back to school that is literally how the first day of school is it's like it's like one of those moments when you say, you win a million dollars, you win a million dollars, and you win a million dollars. Except that instead of a million dollars, you go back to prison. Teacher says, pick a partner. Look at your friend like this. Okay, yeah, that is actually a weird face. No one should ever make that face. Finally, class is over. Now I can go home and study. Okay, no offense, but like... When has anyone ever, you know, think of that when they're at school? I mean, whenever I am at school and when school is about to be over, the first thing that comes to my mind is watching YouTube videos and watching TV. Sometimes I'm a little bit lazy to study. Okay, yeah, I don't mean like lazy as in I'm way too lazy to do anything, but the, I don't even know what I'm saying. Children must always wear a seatbelt, except if you put 50 of them in one vehicle. Okay, I've never really been on one of those buses. I mean, the school bus that I ride is a lot different than this one. So, this isn't exactly what it for me. I'm sorry. Begins school with many pens, leaves school with nothing. Aliens. Yeah, I mean, if you go to school with a bunch of stuff, like your pens, but you leave with your pens short or you don't really get anything out of it, there's only one explanation for it. Aliens. I mean, what other explanation could there be? First day back to school. Let's have a test. Are you serious? I mean, it's only the first day back to school and they're already asking for us. No, not asking, telling us to do a test. Meanwhile, you haven't actually studied for it. I mean, I don't know if this has actually happened to someone, but come on, man. Welcome back. I have some news for you. Did I say news? I meant homework. That is perfectly accurate. When a teacher tells you that there's some important news, they pretend as if that there is actually news, but instead they just give you homework. Or in some situations like that. When your teacher walks by, so you pretend that you are working. That is so relatable. Even though you don't have homework, you still pretend as if though you're writing some of the things down because you don't want the teacher to look suspicious, you know? That's, okay, that's pretty weird the way I said it. When you and your friend are put in the same class, prepare for trouble and make it double. That is so relatable, you know? Like, I can't even deny how relatable it is. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure that you all have a great day. And if you want me to make more videos about these memes, be sure to tap on that subscribe button. For those of you who don't know how YouTube works exactly, you don't have to pay to subscribe. You can literally subscribe to my channel for free. I'm just saying in case if there's some of you who want to subscribe but don't know how to. But seriously, you can just tap on that subscribe button. And also like the video if you want me to do more of these memes about lots of relatable stuff. I'm also planning on, you know, making gameplay videos one day. So please, subscribe. Okay, see ya.